Hello and welcome to K5 Championship Race 5. Pardon me if I'm wrong. I can't count. Um, <laughs> we're here in the Arca car at Twin Ring Motegi Oval. And I'm very excited. Should be a fun race. I'm going to head out to qualifying now. Did I mute the chat? I don't remember. Okay, no, I didn't. Uh, James got some lightning speed. He's about a tenth faster than second place here um, for practice times. And I am about sixth. And Justin's right behind us in seventh. He's got great speed, too. So um, not as many people showing up this time. Um, participation slowly trickling down a little bit as uh, the season goes on. But also, a lot of guys might not own Twin Ring and didn't want to pick it up just for this event. So might be missing some people because of that as well but I'm glad I'm here because I love this track and I think it's gonna put on a great show great race here today I am ready ready for qualifying at the moment though gotta make the show first which means I can't mess this up Alright, got all time optimal up right now, so if I can get anywhere near a zero 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 here, I will be very happy. Steady, that wasn't very steady. I got loose. I do not like that. I do not want to see that. I hope I can do a little bit better this time. Though even just not getting a run to the line hurt me there. Oh, I gotta. I know I'm okay. I think I should be able to make it with that, but I know I can do better. So I want to do better here. Hmm. Oh, that should be a little better than last lap. No, it wasn't. Man, I stunk that up. Maybe the track's a little bit slower. It seems like guys are a little bit slower here. I think the track's heating up as time goes on. Because open practice was like 9 a.m. and then time passes in here, so it's like 9.48. In-game right now, sun's hitting the track, heating it up, so it might be a little bit looser. Uh, I wish I could have done better than that, but... I guess it's alright. We are P6 at the moment. JP with the full lap. About a tenth faster. Who else we got? Jeremy right behind us. Gavin in second. Even third. Of course, so many names as always that we recognize. That's the whole league. Justin in 15th. He's going to make it though. Mitch in 17th. Nick in 19th. Tracy in 20th. Some guys that we're usually used to seeing up front are kind of further back in the field. Oh, I saw Kyle. I didn't even know Kyle had made it. Okay. He showed up. Wesley's 37th. And Daniel 38th. Oh, wow. We might have some more. Oh, no. Okay. We got people going. Okay. Whew. Wesley still had another lap to do. Maybe Daniel does as well. Interesting. Yeah, Wesley's just fine. He's in fourth. <laughs> and James up in the P1 spot. And I'll just do a little practice pit in right here. That obviously is not how I'm going to be taking the corner at any point. But I've done a lot of green flag pit stop practice, so I should be okay. See you out there. All right. Chad Douglas, happy to finally be part of one of these. That's cool. 
Can I get a mic, sir? Cool to have him here. You're good, Lance. Oh. Thanks, Lance. Dang. No problem, man. That's why I think there was something you could do there where you could like take it easy the first lap, get the tires up to temp, and then push the second lap. But that's exactly why I didn't want to do that. Because if you mess up that second lap, you don't get another try. That stinks. Hmm. Huh. So we ended up eighth in the end here. I'll take it. Is anybody out there? Kyle made it. All right. But yeah, as you can see, not quite as many people uh, showing up this time. So less people out. It looks like Chuck didn't get a chance to run. I think because he showed up late, he might not have been able to. What does this button do? I accidentally clicked it just now. I don't know what this button does. Eighth place, two minutes. You'll need to get on with this. I've never even paid attention to that button. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we'll take a uh, watch of the heat race. I'm also going to change my settings. I wanted a little bit further forward brake bias so I could drive into turn three pretty hard. But for the race, I'm going to move it all the way back. I'm probably in the car and move it all the way back as well for that long run. So, in my practice, I found out that once the track kind of heats up a little bit, once we get past the morning, see, it's, we're about 10.30 now. It's going to be a little bit later still, closer to noon, once we actually do the race. I was actually getting on the right rear by the end of the run. I had a 76-72 set of tires uh, after a 25-lap run while testing. Actually, I accidentally tested during noon instead of the queue time of morning. But it ended up kind of being a good thing in a way, because now I know exactly how the track is going to race for the actual race. Not exactly, but because there's going to be rubber on the track and obviously cars everywhere. Okay, <laughs> so it's not going to be exact, but... Uh, we'll give a watch to the heat race. Just a couple of laps here out of necessity. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. See what Chuck can do. We know he's pretty fast. He was really fast at Homestead, at least. Didn't get a great jump there, but I think he can probably catch up if I had to guess. It's too bad Daniel's not going to be out there. Too bad for uh, everyone. Just have to draw the line at some point, unless we want 300 cars on track, which I'm sure nobody wants, especially Nick. <laughs> being the host of the league and trying to keep eyes on 300 different people. You could probably fit three different, 300 different people on this track, though. It's big and wide enough how wide these corners are. That lap two, got some guys blinking and some guys getting sideways. That was interesting. Got a sizable lead for Rick up here. Might be a little bit too much to overcome. And uh, Chuck actually looks like he overdrove a little bit through three and four. So we'll see if Daniel can catch up on the final lap of the heat race. He's driving in hard. Oh, we might be able to catch up to him. Lots of ground gained here. Wow. Power's up there. The leader's up off the wall a little bit for some reason. Going into the final corner. Will he get the run off? 82 pushing hard, pushes too hard into the wall. 
Yeah, yeah we couldn't that's... wreck Daniel. I almost did. Good job, <laughs> that, guys. That was a pretty good race, actually. A little heat race. <laughs> Checkered flag, P8. All right. So, warm up. And, uh, true to the name, warm up, I imagine the track's even warmer. What time is it now? It is 11 a.m. Now, yeah, it's like the heat start there. So, we'll hop into the warm up. I'm actually going to get a drink of water real quick, though, so I will be right back. Sorry about that. Should have thought about that before I started recording, but I didn't, and I definitely want to have something to drink for these long races, you know? So, do luck, everyone. Thank you. One minute left to warm up. Just, I think we'll just come out and uh, do a practice green flag pit stop. That's about all the time we'll have to do anyway. So, I'm really going to be focusing on saving tires this race. I always do, but... In official, I've been on... Uh, I don't want to get in people's way here. They might be going for a hot lap. Too many people come, and all of a sudden, I don't want to get in their way. And I've already practiced enough green flag pit stops, so never mind on that one. That's okay. Pit entrance can kind of sneak up on you a little bit. Save, Only 50 miles an hour. And it's coming right out of that corner you're pretty loose in, so... Gotta be careful not to get, uh, spinny. Alright, I did reply to Justin, did I? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> so, just about to get started. On the outside of what that's that's row four, right? Yeah, that's how math works. <laughs> outside of row four. Settings should be good, yes. Alright, hopping in. And move this back as well. Alright. So I should last lap. I am ready. Good luck. Good luck, man. I hope this goes well. I haven't been a part of one of these yet. Last, last, uh, Nick League I was a part of was the second to last race of the late model season. Oh, yeah, that's right. Jeremy hasn't been in an Arco race yet. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, he'll probably be pretty good here, because uh, he qualified right behind us. He was pretty competitive. And the late models as well. We don't need more guys out here ready to beat me. Charlotte racing these, and I'm banging it off the wall going into three and four. One left to green. Line up on the outside. Pit road is quite a part in these, because the setup is so tight anymore. It used to be loose, and it was so much fun. It's still 11 a.m. here, but track should be a little hotter, so I'm going to keep that in mind. I am not going to put it three wide by accident into turn one, lap one, like I did last time. I don't know what just happened. Um, how do I check quality? Like the, the, the latency and stuff? Oh no, Jeremy you might yeah, be having connection issues. What's that? What's Wallace? Think of the F button. button. Hopefully he doesn't fall out. So latency is a point oh eight four. Is that good? I don't know. <laughs> I think so. I don't know anything about that. You're fine on the last go, Graham. You're not blinking or warping or anything. Everybody was gone for a good like ten fifteen seconds. So Gary's in. Let me know if I do start pressing. Green flag. Green flag. All right, we're off and rolling. I would prefer to be on the inside if possible. It's okay. Oh! 
a little loose there for David. Did not want to be on his outside, but that's where we are. Oh my god, why are we being dove? Alright then. Okay, and now he's wrecking. Oh, maybe not wrecking. That was good. That was a little scarier than I wanted, but I guess that's kind of karma for making the last, <laughs> the beginning of the last race scary for some people. So I guess true karma would be me getting wrecked. I don't know. Right, feeling okay though. We got through all that. We are in P7. The goal now is to be nice to the tires, be consistent, not let the car get all sideways. If I can help, if I can avoid that. Turn one and two, uh, they, they go on forever. It feels like you're in that corner forever because it's so long and sweeping. So you really have to be patient getting onto the throttle through there. But it's also pretty fast, too. It's a fast corner. So at the same time, if you can get it on the right rear mid corner, you can be fast and be okay on the tires. So it, it's a balancing act. It makes it very interesting to drive. You a pretty firm braking zone for a track this size. Heading into turn three. Another thing I, I love to be able to do is have a, a braking zone on a large track like this, mile and a half or more. Some or somewhere around mile and a half. Just these intermediate kind of tracks. Whenever you have to get on the brakes at any point. Adds a little bit of a skill to it. I always enjoy that. Side by side ahead. Ooh. Cut him off a little bit there. It's going to get us alongside. I'm sure uh, Chad doesn't much enjoy that, but <laughs> can't let a run that big go. Still there. We should be able to get him here without pushing. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside if you want it. Outside. Still there. Clear high. Alright. That's a spot. Feels good. Sixth place. Leaders are breaking away a little bit, or the leader, it looks like. You get stuck on the wall there, Chad? Oh, Chad must have hit the wall. See, he's a second back now. Hope I didn't give him any trouble. Okay. Three sets of tires much too early for tires. We are staying out here. Sorry, man, I can't steer. We're under caution. It's closed. His car is out. Find up single file behind car number. And that was fun. Surprised we got a caution. Pretty fun, right? I really thought we would uh, be able to take this one green track. for a long time. And we still might. It is a really fun track to do laps on. I ain't going to lie. Yes. Very, very good track. Uh oh. Checking up back, checking up back. I almost have been involved in it, maybe. Hopefully, he's not too damaged or anything. Paid for anyone to get any. It would have been really interesting if we had got that green because, like, everybody was separating. Um, it would have been interesting to see, like, your tire saving and that type of thing at that point. We could still get it. I think we yeah, could still get it. If we would have gone a little longer, it would have been my home last week because everybody would be all spread out. 
we will still have to get uh, green flag pit stops in, so. Pits are open. Now let me do some math here, because now we're going to have to think about when we would pit, should this go green. So, let's see, 47, 7, 8, 4, 8, 6, uh, Maybe lap 50 something would be when we would come in here because we're getting a couple laps in under caution where no tire wear is really going to be happening. Forty eight probably would have been my initial hit time had this gone green. So add a couple to that probably about 50. 50 is a good number, a good easy number to remember. I can shoot for maybe 51. We'll see. If I do a good job on tires, maybe we'll stay out a little longer. And uh, yeah, if I'm having like troubles, around, uh, maybe come in a little earlier. Yeah, I was about to correct myself. <laughs> Nick had said 60 laps Are these you can do file or double file? about on a full take of gas. Double file starts the only time is single file wow. if there's an immediate caution yeah. after we just had one. So that's good information. We've moved ahead of row. <laughs> Starting eighth, you know, and six. Yes, we're gonna go down pit road. It's like we have a caution right after one, or we're gonna block by. Hey, you know, uh, no damage for Kyle. That's good to hear. Still plenty of time to get back in this thing. I should say you could get a block by. All right, one to green. Hit apron, trying to avoid guy top. I wonder if maybe someone got loose up top, maybe or something, and if you tried to go low and hit the apron, and that caused a spin or something. I don't know. We'll see when we get the incidents later on. Kyle maybe kind of came up uh, on someone's rear end, who was all slow. I don't know. I'm just trying to piece it together based on what's being said. No tire spin to speak of, it seems. It was a second gear start, right? Yes. Okay. James still up there in first. His Wood Brothers looking car. He got some distance off the start. That distance is now gone. I imagine he's probably still good with his tires as well, though. Probably not too much different. So, we'll get it started again here in just a moment. About to go green, stay focused. Post car is off. Green, green, green. green. You're in this. Outside. Outside, clear. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Go low. Alright, using Gavin. Let's help get on the inside here. Go low, there is a car on the high side. Outside, clear. Outside. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Go low. All right. Still there. Clear. You're in fourth position. Looks like Wesley backed out. Feeling pretty good moving forward. I like it. Don't think I'm being hard on the tires either, but I could be wrong. I like shifting in 3 and 4. That seems to be a, a point of debate between a lot of people, though. But I feel like, since I often have trouble staying off of my uh, right front, that can help me get on the right rear a little bit more when I do that. So long as I'm not overdoing it. Which I think I did during the uh, first race of the week. I got too hard on the throttle. 
out of uh, turn four. I think uh, it's going to benefit me more to be gentle here. Seems to be working so far. I like taking a shallower entry into one, getting close to this white line, which helps you get lots of rotation. Oh, Gavin Hard in the wall. That might be enough to cause some damage that would be significant. Unless it was not as hard as it looked, but that was not your average everyday Gavin wall tap. Didn't look like to me. Oh no. What if he knocked his wheels out of alignment or anything? That could be trouble for him. Oh no. Seems like he's not too bad. I do think we're catching him more than we were before, though. So I don't think we were catching him at all before. I think uh, we're about even, or even he was getting away a little bit. We'll see how it develops. James one second ahead, still in the lead. Got point three behind us. Feeling very good about my spot here. I've moved forward four spots since the start. It's not always the easiest passing here, so I like that track position. little harder on the gas than I would like there. It worked, but um, I prefer to be a little smoother than that. Using a little bit of break into entry to one. I didn't do that at the start of the week, but that was a suggestion I heard Justin Yee give, who was the winner of that first race of the week and is always very good at the ARCA car. So he's a guy worth listening to for sure. And uh, it did, I did a second race later on, just for fun, and it did help me save my right front some to uh, that was that take that turn was one a little easier. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Especially because these races are much longer. Going to want to be nice to the tires. I'd say I'm going about 80% right now. Definitely not going as hard as I would, as I could. Definitely trying to keep pace up so that way I can hang at, hang around up here. But definitely not flooring it out of the corner or anything. Like I would maybe on like the last lap if I'm really trying to get somewhere, <laughs> get somewhere quick, or you know on a Q lap or something. Then again, well maybe being smooth is much faster. Could have been more aggressive through one and two there. Lost some time. Walls, I have no idea where you're at. Yeah, that was a bad lap. Go ahead and take it, Robert. Am I good now? A little bit faster this lap. I just underdrove it. Am I good now, Wesley? There's tire saving and then there's underdriving. <laughs> I think so. I think I can't see you.
Alright, that's better lap. That's where I need to be more consistently. Because we got David catching up to us from behind as well. I'm not going to hold him up if he does end up on our bumper. Pretty wide on exit there. Getting close to the wall. You might be getting tight. Could be something with that damage you got. I would like to beat Gavin just to, uh because he beat me in the in the official race, so it's like Ooh, I gotta I gotta try to turn the tables on them, but <laughs> don't worry about my own race. We'll see what happens in the end. It's fun having guys out on track. You know you can race You've just done a hard but clean. We trust out here. So I'm not going to force anything, not going to drive in hard or really smash the throttle trying to get around Gavin. I'm just going to hopefully let the tires do the work for me. If I am indeed saving the tires a little bit better. Oop, got a little too sideways there. Uh, if I am, I should be able to get around them. No problem once the car comes to me a little bit. Alright Colton, that's good consistency, keep it up. David falling back a little bit behind us. That's interesting. I thought he was going to come up and pass me. No longer seems to be the case. Good run out of four there. Not quite enough, though. Gavin got a decent run as well. That lap was at 57.8. See, um... Driving in to one a little softer. I have a nose on him here. I don't think quite yet. Alright. Smoothness, so important here. Looks like Gavin's picking the pace back up a little bit. So that pass might have to wait. I got on the throttle just a second too early there. Wait a sec. Wait. <laughs> a second's a long time in racing. Just a, a quarter of a second too early there, I guess. It's more accurate. I, mean, I don't know. I don't know how long it was. Not much time. That's the point I'm trying to make. Just a tad too early, and it uh, made me push a little bit wider than I wanted to last lap. That lap was at 28.0. Feeling good though. This top five, we've kind of broken away from sixth place back there. Glad to be a part of this group of guys. Just 
James is looking really good, though. Appreciate that. Pulling him away a little bit. That's good consistency. Keep it up. That lap time was 38.0. So, about 30 watt laps of fuel remaining. It's going to take us just past around the lap 60 range. Still plan on coming in. Oops. A little bit too much sideways. I do still plan coming in around lap 51, I think. The lap time was at 38.2. I missed my marks a little bit the past couple of laps. David's coming back. Gavin's getting away. Have I done bad things to the tires? Gavin found a new gear all of a sudden. Okay, Colton, you've used Maybe it's his missing second gear. I've been missing for a while. Alright, well, maybe I'm the one who's not good on the tires. All of a sudden, I'm not feeling quite as fast as some other guys around. Wesley back there, catching back up. That was a Bad corner. Not push as much as I needed to there. Kind of picked it up a little bit more on exit, but didn't have the best angle. Figured we'd get some good green running in though, and it's really looking like we are. That's good consistency, keep it up. I think I've been pushing a little bit too much in the early mid corner. Kind of turn 1.5, I think I've been pushing a little bit too hard. That might be helpful for us here. Back up to Gavin. I feel like he's got to be hurting his right front the way he's entering into one. Thought we might be able to get under him there, but not quite. Still don't want to push the car necessarily, although we are getting close to pits, so at what point do I use the tires? Questions here.
Is that enough? Oh, he's a little up. Inside. Yikes. Still there, inside. Still there. Clear inside. Good save, Gavin. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Stay high with the car on the low side. Keep trying different entries in one and none of them work. <laughs> Sorry, I messed you up there, Colton. Are you good? Let's play hit the jackpot. Yeah, sure did. I was about to say the same thing. I could tell something was wrong immediately at the start of that corner. Just gonna give him a peek. Don't really agree with that one. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Keep high. Don't think he had that lane, but well. Keep high. Clear. Thank you, Coleman. No problem. All right. Don't want to waste time side by side, so I was just gonna let him go. Gonna push a little bit harder here, since we're approaching when I want to pit. Jamie, do you want to help me? Because I kind of want to back off one. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to run you down for a while. Alright, I'll give it to you in one. I'll give it to you in one. I'll just go high a little bit. Okay, thanks. Tires are getting a little bit worn. Until I can tell, I can tell because of the way it's uh, kind of pushing on entry to one, uh, even with slowing a down a bit. There, so I'm going to hang back a little bit. Plus, if I have to put under green, I don't want someone right behind me. We might be getting an open door here. But just let me know if you're pitting. Still there. Love it. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. All right. I had to take advantage of that while I could. There is a car on the high side. Outside, Backs clear. off. All right. So back to P4. We had some shakeups there for a little bit. Found ourselves back here. It's interesting. I'm having to use more and more brake on entry to one and less and less gas. Yep. Shane back there in 7th. I don't know where he started, but I haven't seen his name yet. He's been moving forward, I think. Whoa! He even had to lift off to not get in the wall there, I think. Not enough for us to get alongside or anything, though. I'm going to pit in this time. Gotcha. Pitting in this time, pitting in this time. Oh, 
Okay, Colton, you've got ten Seems a little early to me, doesn't it? You're in second position right now. Well, I'm sticking my guns. I'm gonna go. Come in and. Uh, right, that Lap 51. I'm pinning in this time, 07. Just go, just go, go low, go low. Take it, take it, take it. The lead is pitting now. So we're using the tires up now. Pin, pin, Trying to get pin. some green for a couple of laps. You're in third. I thought you were coming out of me way faster than you were. Now that uh, so many people have pit though. Well, I guess I'm going to him pit too. <laughs> You're pulling away. The gap behind is now 1.6 seconds. Now that so many people have pit, I might come in a little bit earlier. Because I don't want to be out here for no reason. 47.78. JP, did you and I both speed? <gasps> he sped! Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Okay. That was a stupid move. Sure who Jeremy's talking about. He's got some fighting words. <laughs> He's ready to tussle. <laughs> All right, so I think it's about time to come in. Still a lap or so earlier than I really wanted to, but that's fine. Nick still wants to be out. He might be coming in this lap as well, though. And I'll tell you what, I got green this lap. I'm going one more. I kind of moved back to red, but I feel like I'm okay. This is definitely the pit-in lap, though. Got tight there, looking at Wesley. Yeah, time to commit. Okay, fill up the car, get some tires. Could have been a little faster on pit entry, but I'm okay. Pit box team one, right here. Why didn't they not give me a countdown? I almost missed it because of that. Fifty-four sixty-five. Sounds like I was too hard on my right front still. Where can I be better? Never mind. Gavin made up some ground on us. Seven seventy two is what Gavin said. So I was just going too hard. But that's weird though, because it seemed like Gavin fell off. I don't know. Not sure what to make of that, to be honest. We'll see how it cycles out. I came in later than a lot of guys.
Pin this time. Pin this time. Where will we end up? We came in. Uh, the cycle started around when I was in fourth, I believe. So we'll see. Lots of people in the pits this lap. We're gonna gain a ton of spots. Oh, two sideways there. It's not good. Some people still coming in for the first time. It's like Mitch is still out. He was probably trying to get a uh, very well-timed caution, if I had to guess. But not to be, we're going to fly past him. Do this lap. Back into the top five. Wesley 4.1 ahead. When did he come into pits? I just realized I didn't put on my <laughs> race lab. I'm sorry. I just now realized it. <laughs> Could have found out when he pit in. Had that been on, but... Not a huge deal. We are back in fourth now. You're back in fourth position. Thank you. I did just say that, but thank you. Trying to get him more on the right rear this time. I feel like maybe I was a little bit too cautious last run. I know I was bad on the tires. But I think by being a little more aggressive on the throttle, I might be able to get on the right rear more and even the tires out a little better. 11 percentage points all apart. Back in third. Ooh, third. Okay. That's right. We did have one guy's speed. That was David that did that. I just keep getting loose on that white line. Who's a 17? Robert Seipel? Don't remember seeing him. He might not have pit yet. So we're going harder this way. Oh, okay. Well then. Man, that's All that tells me is I should have held on for two more laps without pitting. Darn. Okay, that's fine. I think his wheel came on towards or something. He was like, I don't know, four or five car lengths in front of me by himself down the back stretch and just hit the inside wall. Fuck tires left. Edging up to the pace car. Pace car is out. Line up single file behind car number. Did it turn left or right? Uh, he went left to the inside wall. Gonna have to get tires here because other people are and they're gonna fly Probably past us if we don't get tires. Either. Well, got two sets now left. Now goes full lock one way or the other, so that's probably what happened to him. I thought everybody was just right. Who broke? Uh, it was, it was Brian Scallus or something like that. That sucks. Sounds like an equipment thing, potentially. Do I have to wait to tell, for them to tell me to pass before I can do the lucky dog? Yeah, if you practice on your good 
Watch your speed limit in the pits. That was a late decision. Again to get to the end. Pit box team, in. I need, I need to get out of the way. They won't go out now. Three, two, one. Right here. You kind of had a weird pit entry there, slowing me down a bit. 96, 96 on the right sides. I think those percentage points are going to be really nice if we uh, go to the end. All clear, punch it. You only have one tire set remaining. They want you in single file. Get so we will overtake up. Wesley there. Leader pit as well. Got a number of guys that chose not to pit. A whole bunch of guys. Hmm. But my assumption is, if we get another caution later, then those guys are going to come pit. We're still going to be out. Maybe. I don't know. It could, it could turn out a whole number of ways. One of those tracks that for some reason is relatively clean. Nah, you're okay, okay Zachary. Now. I was getting annoyed with those lap cars racing hard like that. So we're going to have a lot of guys in front of us. We're going to be patient with. I thought one did throw a huge lot from back here. Probably the 89. You got huge blocks. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> Are you blocking a lot, car, David? Yeah. Just trying to stay in front of JP. We were racing for position. See, we got blocking. Man, that was such a drastic block. That was like, oh, geez. <laughs> Yeah, I, I hear you, man. I'd be frustrated, too. That would wreck me, Jeez. Sounds like guys are having some frustrations um, with, you know, how difficult it can be to pass here. Understandable. I was there. I was frustrated at Charlotte earlier this uh, season. So I, I, I feel it. And then I afterward, you're like... Than I should be. Afterward, you're like, oh, I don't know if I needed to be that frustrated, but... Me too. It's just part of it. Well, that's right. We're all on the same page. Because I feel the same way. Gavin's in first. Yeah, I hit like two laps before the caution came out, but I didn't need to go back in. And now I'm just here in 16th flag. Uh, why are all these names around me? Oh, I know if any of you are not giving yourself enough credit, it's shame. That is not true. Shane's pretty good. Shane is a top five. He's doing something right. Let's go with luck. Gonna be a little bit scary back here. Lots of cars around us. Lots of things could go wrong, potentially. But I'm kind of trusting the cleanliness of the racing at this track. That's why I chose to get tires. I feel like it could go green to the end. And I want to have the freshest set of tires I can get. That's what motivated that move from me. Even though we weren't on those tires all too long. So it's a nice good start here. Get ready. Going green. I'm bunching up a little bit. Ice car is off. Didn't really see him going too well. Not a very good start. Uh oh. Second front straight. Cautious. Yellow track. Line up. Single file. Pit road. That was weird. Oh, uh, what was that? Twenty-seven carbide. You had the position when the yellow oh, track came out. For no reason. Who was that? I was at his door, and it started coming down across my nose. 
I don't know what he was doing. He, I guess he just caught he was clear. That was strange. He just came down and conquered those. I wasn't on you. I think I jinxed it. I said I think it could go green to the end, and then we didn't even get to the first corner. Yeah, I, I thought I was holding my line. I mean, I ain't when I see the replay, I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> Oh, dude, you you held your line. You didn't even move. Now, he just came straight down. Uh oh. Thank goodness that wasn't worse. If you get a wreck like that, just on the green, you can get major pileups. So, oh, that was. I mean, I got a bad start. Like JP, I guess. I the whole thing. Was it? Jet stop twenty-seven. Jet five. Jet. Oh, I hate it. I hate this quick talk. Yeah, no, I think JP's getting a paper on maybe, because he had sped earlier. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to be able to tell. Not going to be able to tell until the uh, incidents. Yeah, probably. I like that's what he was trying to do, get to the bottom. It'll be single file now. Well, he did get there. I got there, but he's up <laughs> Nick's like, nah, we're not having that. We are going right back to the bottom. got to the extreme bottom. Hopefully, everyone remembers that it's single file. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got that right. Let's punch it up here, guys. Hope uh, <laughs> I'd like to actually be somewhat. Yeah, along Nearby. the way, I also got one way ticket out, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I don't think I got any damage, but just in case I'm off the stage, you'll so be careful behind me. Ah, uh, you probably are fine. I don't, I don't think that does enough damage to be... 17, it's time for you to make some time to let you back. I mean, I hit the wall and dragged it earlier on the right side, and I don't, I haven't had any issue with it, though. So. Oh, they're so far ahead. Look how much yeah, space is between people. Come on, now. Oh. Way too much space between guys heading to the start there, and I was trying to really be careful not to be part of an accordion effect. Now it's probably going to go green to the end. We are so far behind because we did single file. P17. I don't know, maybe Was not. Man, they are racing hard up there. Snapped on me a little bit. The car in front has just done a 37.1. Okay, Colton, we're halfway home. We think about 31 minutes of fuel remaining. Oh, are they three wide ahead? Close to it. He kind of moves up a little bit and scares Justin, it looked like. Clear up top. Justin, a very safe racer, so he just wasn't playing around with that, looks like. Hmm. 
almost a little bit of wall up there, it looks like. Now are they three wide? They are all over the place. It's crazy. Sorry there, Jones. I was just getting pressured. Clear. Okay. How was the man of the car on the low side? No one spawn. Alright, take it. There, hold your line. The one guy that did spin was off the racing server. Clear. Alright, I'll run high. Well, that's not good. Find the wall straight away. You could have held him up, it would have been alright. Colin, lead the way, we shall charge through the pack. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> Take your time back there if you want, that's fine. Gavin, I just gave Colin a position, you better be scared. I am, because I'm nowhere near as fast as him. I don't know what this damage is doing. Pretty sure I slammed into Colton, so he might be a little damaged. Yeah, I might have some butt damage. I don't know how bad yet. <laughs> Good old butt damage. <laughs> Just all kinds of checking out. Call that on the medic. For our chance. That lap time was Well, waiting for my chance to get around 49 here. Quite there yet. Outside. There you go. Keep low. Consistency. Keep them coming. Just barely got the nose on them. 
Clear up the top. Depends on the watch from back here. Oh, got loose on exit, but that's okay. We'll get him in a three. I'm not going to have a good finish here today. Oh, oh, oh. That sucks. I don't know how much the rear end damage is affecting me. I don't think it's really doing much. I think the worst part of it was having to check up in the first place. Plus, already on top of that, having the single file restart. Just lost so much time to guys ahead. Just an absurd amount of time. Colton going on my inside. Car outside. Still there. Go low. Clear up top. Thanks, fan. Appreciate it. Try and move forward. We people would be nice, but Ooh, Robert in the wall a little bit up there, it looks like. Go ahead, David. Thank you. Surely appreciate it. <laughs> Running out of laps. I had to hit the brakes by one right Nick. That's all right, man. And, by the way, me. Me and Mitch get by me. Alright, Colton, the next car is McFarland. I'm just trying to salvage as much as I can at this point. Car outside. Outside, you clear. Kind of a weird place to let me go, but <laughs> that works, I guess. Maybe he overdrove it and then decided he was just going to let me on by. There, so I didn't want to dive it on him. Car outside. Get him on exit instead. Still there. Clear outside. P15. You've just done a 38.2. Had to take a lower entry there. That kind of hurt my corner. Oh, something happened behind us. Oh, there's some hard hit. Wallace, he did. Me again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm racing so hard. I know I'm not saying much, but I'm like super focused. I'm really trying to salvage something here. 
Consistency is so important in these, and I can't have a dud finish. Up to 15th isn't terrible. Sorry, Wallace, I know that was aggressive. Uh, okay, Gavin up in first, Nick in third. Nick in third is not what I want to see. Not that I don't want, to, want him to do well, but he's the one guy ahead of me in the points right now. <laughs> Whew. We're doing pretty good. <sighs> yeah, considering the time we lost. I told you, we're gonna follow you through. So Tony is gonna block me because he's upset about last race, I guess. That's cool. I'll just pass him on exit. I didn't want to dive in on him. Oh, anyway. All right, dude. Guy behind me didn't slow down either. Man, I was using the same slowdown I had in the whole race. This guy's Kill. annoying. Alright, it could have been me, I don't know. The car don't want to do anything I want it to. Outside. Clear outside if you want to. Thanks, 28. It was still pretty easy, so might as well let me buy. You're in control of your car, not me. That's all I have to say. Off the pace in this corner. Feel bad. Go low. Feel bad. Feel bad. Clear outside if you want to. Car inside. You're in the middle, three wide. Car outside, two wide. Inside, you're in the middle, three wide. Clear outside, two wide. Still inside. Jeez, oh. Alton. Still there at the bottom. Sorry, did I push too much up there? Still there, inside. I'm just really aggressive. <laughs> Not much time left, sorry. Still there, inside. Clear. Guy gets on the wall, I can't sit and have a picnic afterward. It's coming up to five to go. I can't believe I'm almost back in the top ten. Oh, 
Five left to go. What are you still doing back here? Was at 38.2. Well, missed fourth gear there. Whew. Yeah, I saw that. I hate that. Did you blow up or something, Gavin? <laughs> no, it's locked the spot. Outside. Clear outside. Oh, they're looking like they're going right right here, so. All right, top ten. Three laps to go. You're in the top ten. Tenth position. The captain, Gonzalez, behind is now 0.7. That lap time was 38.4. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. I feel like my right front just give up. We got a race. Inside. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. It's who can make the least mistakes. <laughs> You've got two laps to go. Still there, inside. <laughs> Protects the bottom. And this 19 car, man. Keep high. Yeah. I'm Please waiting for a wreck. Yeah, he almost said that to me on uh, fresh tires. When he got fresh tires and I had old tires, he almost broke right through me through one and two. Whew, I had to set that one up. There's some interesting driving going on back here for 15. Wouldn't recommend buying the track five minutes before the session opens. What flag? What flag? Can, White flag. Can we get one more spot? P9. White flag, one more lap. That was a 38.5. Oh my god, great race, man. That was so Ooh. fun. Can't believe it. I don't know what happened in turn one and two. They just didn't turn. I almost hit the wall. Gee whiz, man. Good job. I am yeah, dripping. One push, they got you. That sucks. Sweat. That was good race, though. Good race. Good win, Gavin. Good win, Gavin. I can't believe we got thanks, back to ninth. I know we had a... that one caution. <laughs> Yeah, I have a good question for David there, there, but... Whew! Last time I raced with you guys, and you also won an official one. Good job. Yeah, the extra practice paid off. <laughs> Thanks, man. So, somehow get back to me, you know. With uh, a bruised butt. <laughs> I don't know how much that was doing. I don't think it did much. Like I said, I think losing the time was far more detrimental from having to slow down there. Oh man. So I, I'll take that, a top 10, after that huge mess of the final couple of restarts there. When uh, Nick went in announcer mode, watching the race ahead, I guess. <laughs> 7174. Okay. All right, got a top five. Nice. Shane in second. Nick in fourth. So Nick's going to gain on us. Hmm.
Yeah, it honestly didn't hurt me. Yeah, it was having to check up for Rex that did most of the damage. Like, not literal damage, but <laughs> damage to my race results here. Um, it was having to check up and slow down for so for so long for two different wrecks that didn't bring out cautions that really did me in there. I knew Justin would feel really bad about it. it honestly, it is okay. You should have pitted got freight trained. Then the hit. I don't know if pitting was actually the right move. Second guess in my Yeah, if I had kept my track position, I wouldn't have had to check out for guys. So. Wow. Oh, I don't know. Sure, you could have done. <sighs> One call only about 10 more followed. Where did he end up? Uh, seven, 27th. At least he got a lead lap finish. It wasn't being too whiny. Um... Uh, what did he say other than... Oh, okay, there it is. Um, yeah, and it was normally a racer, and they say, yeah, I don't get that in the battle from ninth. Hmm. I can't type. Yeah. Yeah, it's understandable to be frustrated if someone on a someone a lap down is uh, racing you hard. But he did still finish twelfth. That's really good, especially starting thirty first. That's a very solid charge forward. So. All right, now that we've uh, talked to a couple guys, where did Mitch end up? A couple spots ahead of us. Excuse me. In seventh. Um, I'll give an update on the points after incidents here. If you wanted to skip ahead to that, I'll leave a... Uh, well, I guess I won't leave a chapter. Unless I remember, I probably won't, though, to be honest with you. <laughs> All right, starting from the beginning. Lap six. Just a little bit of hot wheel in the wall. Ooh, he gets stuck, though. It looked like he was going to be able to bounce off pretty easily, but then he really got stuck to it. Static clean. Then lap seven. This was the caution. Okay. This is what they were talking about. So, 
The 71 looks like they just get a little bit too much on the apron and it starts sending them sideways and they lose a ton of speed. And uh, I don't think I was ready for him to lose that much speed all of a sudden and was not able to get around him. And unfortunately that brought in Dan to it. And he probably got the worst of it, honestly. Hitting all the way up in the wall like that. That stinks. That was our, our uh, first caution right there. Ah, uh, I'm not sure what happened there. Could he not turn with a broken wheel? Because of his wall hit. That's weird. It looks like... It honestly looks like something disconnected. So look at this. Oh yeah, that's strange. Something about hitting the wall disconnected something in his setup. Just look at that. It just snaps straight. Like he's disconnected. And you can hear he's no longer on the throttle, on the brakes, anything. Oh, that is such bad luck for the 13, too. Oh, man, that makes me sick. Because Robert was just saying in Gavin's Discord that he felt like he had a good shot this race. He wasn't sure if he was going to make the show, and he did make the show. But then... Well, hey, it looks like he still kind of got back into it, even with some damage right there. That is such bad luck, though. I think that's because it's the bad luck 13. <laughs> 13 is like a lucky number for me, but that was not lucky for him. That sucks. Hopefully Dan doesn't uh, get banned by Nick for that or something, thinking he did it on purpose, because I really do think that was an equipment malfunction. Hopefully Nick sees it that way too, and realizes that's probably what happened. Jeremy in the wall, pulls it off, but everyone's okay. Got a blinky do. And then Gavin, this is when he hits the wall really hard. Apparently it was just fine, because it goes on to win the thing. I'm telling you, I think maybe there is something to Gavin the wall. Like, it seems like half the time he hits the wall then goes on to finish really well. Like this one, he won the race, so maybe I need to start Gavin the wall once in a while. That's the spirit, Nathan. <laughs> that was a little bit too hard, though, I think. Gotta find that middle ground. Between the light tap and the heavy hit. Tracy said he had just downloaded this track before coming in here. So less experience, I imagine. Seventeen is the wall. I don't remember seeing the seventeen. Maybe he has been in previous races, but he was doing really well this race. Where did he end up? Twenty-first. So he did fall back a little bit, but I remember like. Seemingly after the pit cycle, he had been doing pretty well. I don't know why we're seeing that. I guess tires are just getting worn maybe here. Wall on exit? No, nothing. So we're going to skip ahead a little faster here as guys are just hitting critical points on the tires. Here is the speeding from David. That really stinks. That's what put him a lap down. Nothing going on here. Moving right along. Dan comes back out, it looks like. One, two, go. We got stepped up that one time. Right to here. Oh my god, why can't I type? It's a great twice, whatever. And we'll go in.
Yeah, that really, uh, I think, um, I, I second-guessed my tire-taking choice there, but I think it would have really been okay had we not had to do a single-file restart. I see. Still did pretty good though. He got third. Yeah, he said his head was fogged by pit penalty. He was a lucky dog too. Makes sense. That makes sense. Fight for the lucky dog. I wasn't sure where the next guy around him was. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> Just gonna say all the normal boring stuff like good racing with you, nice podium. He was sorry though, I can understand. Seems to be in the wall. Didn't need to do any major contact or anything. I don't know what I'm saying. So, let's continue with the incident. Sorry for the pause. This is always what it's going to be like at the end of these league races, I think. Just making sure I uh, chat with some guys. Your team moving along. Oh, this was another disconnect. I remember hearing about this. Oh, man, that sucks. Okay, yeah, so this is going to look a lot like what Dan did. I think the <laughs> turn two's cursed or something. We got guys losing connection right there. You're going to see the, a really similar thing here, I think. That's weird. Hmm, yeah. You can see it kind of gets stuck. Right there. And then it's, I don't think you can move it. And it, it almost seems like a computer CPU issue or something maybe because the throttle stays applied the whole way and this wheel's not really turning. Not for real, these are just regular like bumps and shifts. Interesting. You can hear he was on the throttle still for a second even after it got hit, so. That's another unfortunate equipment issue, it looks like. Oh, nothing there. On the brakes too hard, maybe? Man, turn two is cursed. That one looked weird, too. What was that one? I guess he just hit the brakes, maybe? Yeah, he was closing in on them a little harder than they expected. Maybe he had a lot of rear brake in it, and that might have ended up doing that to him. That's too bad. Alright, so. Not going to be much more to see, I don't think. Here we go. Lap 62. This was... Oh, the 17 had found his way all the way to second. And this is the part where he kind of turned down. I don't think, I think he thought he was driving straight and it was just barely drifting to the left. So that was an unfortunate mistake there. So he was having a great run. 
Okay, yeah, so this... What happened here? There's James. Oh, he got the number wrong. He thought the 88 got in the back when it was a 48. So I'm sure he'll realize that at some point. Don't want to throw Shane under the bus. He's the 88. <laughs> but it was the 48 got into the back of him. That looked like a, a little bit net code uh, assisted as well. So I don't think the con contact was really... No, he got into it pretty good, actually. I kind of take that back. He did actually get into him a little bit. You can't you can't touch the rear of the Arca car at all. So this is what happens. And then no caution. These guys are too good at saving. <laughs> saving the vehicle. Ooh. Then I had to avoid... Uh, I mean, that was... <laughs> I went out farther out than I thought. So it looks like he might still be here. <laughs> I'm looking at it. Because it looks like he's clear to go. Hmm. Hmm. How better could I have handled that? I watched a bunch. I think I should have been slowing down. Maybe. To avoid. Let's see. More before it came to that, I was kind of helpful. Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame him at all for that. Like, maybe he could slow down, but there was no caution. Hmm. Things I felt pretty awful as I was one of the down on power, so I wasn't on the phone. Yeah, that sucks. I feel like I might have been able to do something better there. See, I was approaching this wreck, and so I'm just slowing down a lot. Because I don't want to get into it, obviously. And so I'm, I'm right here, I'm seeing 27 kind of go down the track, and I'm thinking, okay, he's going to spin down. And so I'm like, okay, then I can just continue through on the low side. But then he, he kind of gets on the brakes. Um, oh, I don't blame you, it was all a reaction to that guy spinning. So, uh, yeah, the uh, the spark. Yeah, wish for some better luck there. 
Let's see, I saw 27 down going down there, and, I, and then he hits his brakes, and so he's not sliding down off the track anymore, and that's when I'm like, oh, shoot. Like I said, I wish I would have pit. I was just uh, over my head. I started in 10th. It's been kind of, yeah. We do. And so I, I had to make a desperation move because he was still kind of like down there when I didn't expect him to, and that's what ended up here. I didn't get spun somehow. That would have been much worse, too. Just a bad circumstance. In real life, they would have called a caution, like immediately seeing cars sideways. Because you, you got real people watching it, and as soon as they would see something like this, and probably see another guy get sideways, they probably would have been like, Oh, caution, we got people wrecking down there. And from there, I would have been able to be, just be hard on the brakes, slow down. I wouldn't have to worry about continuing on. But because I wanted to continue on and try to keep as much momentum as I could, ended up with this bad situation. And... Also, Justin, there's no caution, so of course he's not trying to lose all of his momentum either. And yeah, it just, it's a stinky situation. <laughs> but I don't blame him at all for that. Uh, 29, hard. That was a really hard hit. About as hard as you can hit a darn wall <laughs> with the right side of the car. Yikes. That one hurt. That's gotta have messed something up with the car, steering or something. Seizing some time, it looks like. And then here I am, trying to get around the 48, who just clobbers the wall. I guess maybe he was looking at me in the rear view mirror. Or just overdrove it, maybe trying to get around on the guy ahead. But you can see he's, he's just not turning for the corner. Thankfully, I was down far enough not to get up right behind him. That made that pass a lot easier, with just a couple laps to go. Wall hit, approaching out of this one. Seems in a spot there. So now it's blocking the D. Hopefully he feels like he's got his revenge or whatever he wanted there. I don't really want to have a rival in the series. That doesn't help either of us. So I'm hoping there's no more of that. <laughs> what happened here? The race is over, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, David just turning down the track and the 38 was still hard in the gas for some reason. He had just had a drag race through the line of Kyle and he's probably still just cooling down. It's like, oh, all right, race is over. And then, oh no. <laughs> Doesn't matter though, it's not like incidents or a thing. So, <laughs> more guys just uh, letting out frustration or whatever you want to call it. That's strange. Maybe they thought they were invulnerable there. It looks like he's intentionally hitting him. I don't think that's what really that was though. But I uh, imagine that'll be it, other than the donuts. Gavin's got a full dozen donuts to do because <laughs> he won so that's awesome another new winner for the season i think we've had a new winner every race that's pretty cool but uh i'm gonna need nick to stop getting top fives because <laughs> i'm not gonna catch him if uh he's finishing ahead of me every week we'll see um if i am still in second place after a ninth place finish Got a couple of guys up there that might have uh, overtaken me. Giving it a look right now. But we go from 8th to ninth overall. But I am very happy to be have been able to pull it back as far as I did at the end there. Given all of the nonsense that was happening in front of me. So, taking a look, we are down to 3rd with Gavin. Taking P2 away from us with his win. We are 5 points behind Gavin now. But uh, we've actually got a nice gap. Down to fourth. Mitch is in fourth. 289 points to my 350. And Nick is up in first with 392. 42 points ahead. All right, so that was 
Arcoit Twin Ring, a very fun race. Some uh, unfortunate circumstances, I think, held me back from finishing a little bit better, potenti potentially, but I'll still take a top 10. Consistency. And uh, next week, we will be at Rockingham, which Nick seems to think will be a messy one. I'm hoping it'll be all right, but we will see. And uh, either way, I'm looking forward to it. I uh, hope to see you there. Have a good one.